Okay, we are unboxing GoPro accessories. Yep. There we go. <clears throat> okay. All right, so I have the GoPro Plus package that I talked about before. So it's like $4.99 a month. It gives you the um, cloud drive and it gives you 50% uh, off on the accessories. <clears throat> so on these accessories, I think I saved 70 or $80. So the first thing, <clears throat> uh, all the plastic bags say on them that they're not toys. So that's good to know. Head strap, quick clamp. So I think this is gonna work for some hiking videos um possibly mountain biking or whatever to get that angle um gonna be probably pretty useful for some of the ones where i hike and go places and i'm kind of showing you how i'm taking the picture you know this can be obviously mounted on my head and out of the way hands free do whatever you want everybody's gonna see what i'm seeing so um that's why i got this one and so I should have probably figured out how much each thing was. I don't remember off the top of my head. But uh, yeah, so this is the good lose lose parts quickly. Head strap and quick clamp. So these are all GoPro items. So of course GoPro logo. Pretty simple. I actually didn't read any reviews or anything on these either, but uh, I was told the GoPro stuff is the best, so it looks like it's really good quality. It's got like uh, rubber grips, obviously, so it stays in place. It's really adjustable. <clears throat> There's your quick clamp. Comes with this and this. So there you go, all together. GoPro goes right there and obviously face front like that over top here and there you go hands free gopro mount that is the yeah head strap and quick clamp so i will put that back in the box <clears throat> but that was the main intention of this one is hiking and videos where i'm trying to teach photography and stuff too I also think it would be neat too for some of the wildlife stuff I do if I'm in a blind um, and I just kind of have that on top of my head uh, of course you can turn your GoPro on and off with your phone so you can have that mounted up here and in the blind so that's all that's showing holding perfectly still and you can still adjust it and do things with your phone down where it can't be seen and then we could get some footage of um, things in in that situation. I also am probably going to use this to do some fun videos with, I'm thinking we can put this on a dog or use the clamps, something like that, having a dog run around, videos like that, whatever. Okay, next thing. A um, friend of mine <coughs> recommended this suction cup because um, I want to get more videos of course i've been doing quite a few driving around and um in the vehicle so suction cup um my friend said he had this up to 155 miles per hour on his car and they're actually shown on airplanes on the website <clears throat> so i think this is going to work out be good and it's going to let me get it like on the front of the hood or even the side of the vehicle in some cases which will be neat if i do any off-roading or you know local trails dirt roads stuff like that it's going to be a video without part of my hood or the dash or a dirty windshield or any of those things so this is probably the thing that i'm going to use first um you know go out for the dirt road scenes and all that with this and i i'll get it out of the box here so this is the suction cup mount 
probably should have grabbed something to cut these open. This is really riveting content here. That will magically get opened up. Ready. <clears throat> oh, another thing I did get from Amazon, not GoPro, just in general, and I'll talk about this. So, uh, HDMI to mini HDMI. And the reason I got this is because I've been having some connectivity issues using this live stream as my bird feeder camera. I don't know if it's something I'm doing wrong or or what the deal is, but it doesn't want to connect and then it drops and it does different things. So I've got to figure that out or maybe that is just how it works when it's outside and you're inside. I know they make a actual Wi-Fi remote that's made by GoPro. Probably has better range. Actually, I know it has better range. It says it's like, I think... 600 feet or something so maybe i'll need to get one of those but the stuff i have right now it's not working out quite how i want it to so <clears throat> the hdmi cable can be put on a laptop and then in the gopro you have hdmi in and the type c so you have your power and your video feed video and sound hdmi carries both video and sound so with this cable I can basically hardwire this into the laptop <clears throat> or desktop and the software is I think it's called OBS or oh I don't remember probably should figure that out um, and it's free and it's a broadcasting software and using it and these you can use this as like a waterproof webcam live stream hardwired and not deal with some of the connectivity issues I have run into and also with this stuff you can save all that video like if you have a big external hard drive or a laptop or desktop with a huge hard drive you could be live streaming that whole time or videoing that whole time and save it on that and the GoPro is basically like a pass-through kind of so this could also lead to, if you want to use it for like home security, you could even do it with the HDMI cables and a type C hardwired, you know, it would literally go forever. You have power, you have your video going out. So your battery and your memory card don't mean anything if you have it hardwired like it. So this is from Amazon and I will put this on my store, um, HDMI mini and regular HDMI. So the suction cup Let's take a look at that. <clears throat> okay. All right. Pretty simple stuff there. Big suction cup with a mount. Um, like I said, from everything I've read and heard on this, this is supposed to be pretty amazing. So gonna go right on the hood of the vehicle and get us some videos kind of out front of it. I think they're gonna look pretty neat. Um, kind of like a visual effect of you kind of floating through the dirt roads or trails. <clears throat> um, so this will be neat gives me some different opportunities um different angles stuff like that so that is the suction cup there's actually a couple different angles and mounts in there and i'll probably once i actually use these um maybe do a short video on each one because i'm sure when I use them, I'm going to find like different things that I used it for that I never thought about or ways to use it or things like that. So I'll do a follow up on those. Um, rechargeable battery. 
So I now have three of the GoPro ones. I have not bought the GoPro charger. Um, the dual battery charger from GoPro itself is $50. And I found a couple on Amazon that are three battery chargers for 20 and they're rated really good. So I think that product, I'm not gonna buy an actual GoPro product because there's no discount on the site for the GoPro Plus. It is just simply $50 for the battery charger. And I think a well-rated Amazon one will work fine. But I would suggest um, having three or four batteries. They, I mean, to go out and film, you know, they last quite a while. But then the one thing I didn't think about when I first started doing this was if I'm out in the field and I'm using the GoPro, not plugged in, and then I, you know, take a bunch of video and I want to upload it or something like that, I'm still using the battery because it's pulling the information off this and sending it to the iPad or the phone. So, yeah, maybe you could film for two hours, but if you're out in the field, you can maybe film for one hour and an hour of uploading or one and a half hours or whatever that would be, but you have to kind of keep that in mind. So I know I want to have two charged extra batteries with me in my pocket at all times with this going forward because I've already run into a couple of situations where I was like, mm, I'm running out of battery and I'd like to do this or that or, yeah. So I'll let everybody know what I think of that Amazon charger. Um, has a tons of tons of ratings, which is one I see about Amazon. Um, okay, so this is called Jaws. And pretty simple, big clamp and an arm that moves where you want it. So my thought with this one is, well, you can use this for a ton of things. Um, you know, a mountain bike handlebar would work or my thought on this that I'm going to attempt to do with it um, and I've got to get that distance thing down better with, uh, being able to turn the camera on and off and the connectivity issue for me out in the field to be able to be at some of these streams that I'm at and they always have tree branches kind of hanging out over the streams. So to be able to clamp this on a branch out in the water and have the GoPro on that while I'm concealed. Now this thing's kind of in the water where when ducks and birds are either flying through or just simply there and swimming around doing things, I'm gonna be able to record them in different spots. And plus, honestly, I mean, this, this is gonna go anywhere you want. It's any angle you want, um, you know, upside down, it, it doesn't matter. So this thing looks like pretty robust. Like it looks like it's the real deal. Um, I mean, it's plastic, but it's not cheap plastic. It's really solid. And so, you know, you have, I see right away, one of the mounting options is um, right on top of it. So just simply clamp it and mount it right here easy enough clamp it on something walk away done mounted um and of course there's a mount on this which i'm assuming yeah well it's the same clamp style which makes sense um yeah it's the gopro mount which is probably um patented or something like that uh okay so goes like that mounts up okay that flew over there um what else is in this nothing Okay, so that is Jaws. And I think there's probably a bunch of other uses that I will come up with for that. And like I said, I'll do update videos afterwards on what, um, what new uses I found for them. <clears throat> and the last thing in here, which is called the handler, um, is simply that a floating handle so this guy 
um, is going to go scuba diving for sure. But I'm always down at the pond, obviously, and I spend a ton of time around water. So this floats and it's a nice soft handle. So you know, you walk through the woods, it's comfortable, it's nice. And if you drop this in the water, it floats to the top. Um, so it's, you know, a good for your investment. GoPro covers this if I break it. It'll cover it if I lose it on the GoPro Plus package. Um, so you have, you know, a couple different ways. Obviously, if you just put that on your wrist, there you go. It shouldn't fall in the water. If it does, it's going to float. This also can be used underwater. Um, so underwater filming with scuba diving or anything like that. And then you were to drop it, it's actually going to just float to the top instead of to the bottom where you can't see it. So this is the handler. Um, and I think this is going to be one of those things that the uses are pretty obvious for it. And it's, I'm sure I'm going to come up with other uses, but pretty basic. It's a handle that floats. Perfect to have it on most of the time. Uh, today I was at McConnell's Mills and I was walking around with just a GoPro in my hand, which was a pretty bad idea. So this is probably going to be uh, hooked up on here most of the time when I'm just walking around with it because um, it's a nice comfortable handle. So that's the handler, the suction cup, extra battery, jaws, and the head strap and quick mount. If you have GoPro Plus, all of these accessories that I bought, uh, and it was free shipping, came to just under $100. So I want to say Jaws is like $35 on its own. The handler's like $25 or $30 maybe 20 so it was 10 like i said everything's half off except for the battery the battery was not half off other than that everything was which is why it was a savings of 70 um because the battery wasn't half off so the other thing that's mostly all gopro stuff but i will just put a little pitch in here um so i did uh get some eight by tens made up and they are on the website or on well, the website too, but they're on Facebook in the shop. So I put them at $12.99 and you get an eight by 10 in a plastic protective holder, shipped to you in a nice envelope and there's no frames or anything. So they're just basically like, you're gonna get a nice eight by 10 and do whatever you want with it. Um, so if you're interested, they would make good gifts or anything. They're not super expensive. Um, so those are on the Facebook shop click on shop on my page. It'll take you to those. It'll also take you to all my things that are listed on Amazon. Um, products I use, um, stuff I kind of endorse and like, and a lot of the stuff on there I've done videos on. So that's it for the GoPro unboxing stuff. I will use these for a couple weeks or even a month, and then I will update probably each one and do a video on just JAWS and all the different things I've used it for in the handler and the helmet, quick mount and all those things. So that's it for now. Um, really do like this GoPro so far. This is really neat. And if somebody's out there wants it to get into videography, vlogging, blogging, webcam, live cam, live streaming, any of that stuff, um, I can't recommend this highly enough for what I have used it for. It is really incredible for $300. So get a GoPro and ask me about any of these accessories. I can tell you how much they cost um, and what features and functions that they do for me in the future. Thank you.